Hey there. I am going to take some time today and tell you about my all-time favorite math curriculum, CTC Math. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Colleen Kessler. I'm a gifted specialist. I'm a curriculum developer. I'm a podcaster, an author, a speaker, and a homeschool mom who has been doing this for 15 years. Before teaching my own kids, I taught in public schools, I taught in some private schools, and I currently run an online membership. So I know education. I've written curriculum and I've used lots and lots of different curriculum in my years. CTC Math is the program that we use in our homeschool. And full disclaimer, CTC is a sponsor of the podcast, but I'm a customer. So while CTC sponsors the podcast and gets information out there and helps support homeschooling moms everywhere, I pay for my subscription because I believe in the product. And I was paying for the subscription long before they were sponsors of the podcast. So CTC Math is the program that we use in our homeschool. I have four children, two are graduated, and two are still at home. We love CTC because it's got so many features that fit our busy family. I have been homeschooling multiple kids for years and years and running an online business, traveling to speak, working on book projects, and researching curriculum and all sorts of other issues that go along with homeschooling neurodivergent, outside-the-box thinkers so I can work with the parents that I coach. I struggle to sit down and teach one-on-one lessons, but I love working with my kids to adapt programs to meet their needs exactly where they are. And CTC allows us to do that because every subscription that you have, you are able to create a profile for each of your individual children, identify where they fit from grades kindergarten all the way through calculus, and adapt it within the program for them. All of the lessons are short, bite-sized videos between four and seven minutes that teach a concept and are followed by practice questions for your kids to see and show what they've learned. The best part about it is you as a parent, as the homeschooling parent, get to identify what percentage, what level of mastery you want your kids to achieve before they're able to move on and you get a report every week letting you know where your kids were successful, where they were struggling, so you can go back and you can work with your kids. Even further, there are worksheets and reviews you can download and print or assign to your kids within the program. Short lessons, adaptable lessons, quick mastery, all of the great things you want in a math program at your fingertips online and available from any device you use. My kids are on the go. They're really busy. My family is busy. We have lots and lots of things pulling at our attention. And sometimes we find ourselves on the road a lot. And CTC makes it easy to at least check off the box of math every single day, no matter where we are. My kids have accessed their math program through their phones, through their tablets, on the desktop computer at home, all sorts of places. It's super available. It's super quick. And It lets us see at a glance where our kids are successful, where they're struggling. I want to take you inside right now. So I'm going to share my screen with you and I'm going to show you the inside of CTC Math so you can see just what I'm talking about with the adaptability, the reports, and the different features. I do want you to know my very favorite thing about CTC is that it is adaptable for the family that is using it and every family can use it differently. So we have some families who use CTC as is and their kids do a lesson a day, they're following along, and they're getting to the level that their parents set for mastery and going on to the next lesson and the next lesson. There are some families that use all the different features on the dashboard inside the CTC parent view so that they can assign tasks for their kids, assign exams for their kids, give them practice problems, and use all of the different features. And then there are families like me who use CTC in a unique way. So some families also use it for just enrichment while they're doing other programs and some use it as the full program. It is a full program. You can use CTC as your full math curriculum. I have children who are gifted and I have children who struggle in math. So I've used CTC very uniquely and very kind of prescriptively for each of my kids. So my kiddos who are really successful in math are able to kind of test out of different sections for me. 
I come from a gifted background. I've worked with neurodivergent kids for years and years and years. One of the beauties of neurodivergent kids is they need different things and they excel in certain areas. They're asynchronous. So for some of my kids, as you'll see when I take you inside, they are skipping through whole lessons because they already know it. So I want you to know what you're going to see when you go into my dashboard might be different than what you see when you go into other parents' dashboards or even your own if you choose to use CTC Math because it's adaptable and adjustable for your family. So let's take a look inside. Okay, so we're going to take a look inside CTC Math, but like I said before, one of the best things about CTC Math is you get to make it your own and utilize it however best works for your family. For my family, as many of you know, I am homeschooling neurodivergent kids. I've got some kids who really excel in math and are several grade levels ahead, and I have other kids who struggle with certain concepts within math. And right now, I have two kids actively using CTC uh, because I have two kids actively homeschooling right now. I just finished uh, my, my oldest child's senior year, and during her senior year, she didn't log in at all because she was doing other things and uh, in, including uh, college classes. And so you'll see that my dashboard might look a little bit differently than yours might when you're using it. And I'll talk about how that is and why that is. Okay, so I'm gonna sign in. And when you look at the dashboard, you see that you have the ability to add tests or exams and add specific tasks. I don't have task lists in there and the exam function is new. So I don't have those being used right now. If you look at my students, I have one who has zero lessons completed and hasn't logged in in a year. Uh, and the reason for that, like I said, is because she's doing other things, including finishing up college classes because she was dual enrolling and she is going off to college in the fall. But my younger two, Logan and Isaac, are both using CTC actively right now. And right now, they're both set at an 85% mastery level. That is the level I have set for them to reach before they're able to move on to the next concept. And I wanna talk about that. This is another place that CTC is very adaptable. So right now they're both set at 85%. I have my daughter, Logan, set at 85% because math isn't her strongest area, but it's also not her weakest area. And most of the time she doesn't move on on her own until she's gotten a 90% or above because she wants to get in the 90s. So 85% is what I'll take because it's a solid grade for the different tasks that she's doing. Isaac right now is set at an 85%, but a little while ago, he was set at a 95%. The reason he is set down to an 85% is because he's actually working two grade levels above. And so if he at two grade levels above can get an 85%, I'm content with him moving on for right now. And when he was on grade level and working within his own grade level, he was required to get a 95%. This kiddo has an, an innate understanding of math. And actually, and I'll show you in a minute, um, sometimes I don't have him complete whole grade levels. I have him skip around because there are some tasks and topics that he understands without having been actively taught them. And so sometimes if I think that a unit's coming up that he's gonna really understand and he's just gonna cruise through, I don't make him do all the work because at that point it then becomes busy work. So sometimes I will give him an exam to show me, like an end of unit exam, to show me what he already knows in that unit and the sections that he already knows I let him skip. So let's take a look at his um, his area so actually first this is a parents dashboard and you can see all of their activity including what they got on the different things they signed in on how long they were signed in when they signed in it's just great you can also see what awards they've gotten and you can see your weekly reports for them which breaks down all of their activity you can go into tasks to assign tasks you can go into exams to exam, uh, assign exams you can use the question banks to come up with additional problems for them or to create exams. And then there are other tools available to you. We're gonna go here and we're gonna log in as Isaac for right now. And you'll see what the student dashboard looks like. So the student dashboard has the areas where they are. So right now he's working at seventh grade 
and he is a fifth grader. He's finishing up fifth grade this year as I'm recording this. But if you look at the elementary sections, these circles aren't all the way filled out because I didn't have him complete all of the work in all the grade levels. I tested him out of certain sections and because I'm more about him knowing the content than about him showing me um, problem after problem after problem, I'm content to move him on if he can pass uh, an exam. And I print those off so they're not showing up in here. Right now he's in the seventh grade section and he's working his way through it. Okay, so that's why this is partially filled out. So we can go in and look at the, the number and algebra section and these are the sections that he's completed. Um, he'll, he, he skipped ahead on these and he's gonna go back to a couple of them. Um, and this will show the grades he's gotten. So he's sitting solidly in the 80 to 90% um, for most of the sections. Now this section, if you notice, the grade is showing a 60% and a, and a mastery level that's low. Um, but we took, because he was struggling with this section, we took it offline and we worked on it on paper. So again, this is where, as homeschoolers, we have the ability to allow the curriculum to be our tool and move ahead as we need to and give them extra help where we need to. I love CTC because if you look, Isaac has access to grades K all the way through calculus. So if he, like some of our kids, can be in one grade but be working several grades ahead, we don't have to go buy multiple curriculums to achieve that goal. And then if we have a kiddo who like um, my other kids uh, that are in high school but are working a couple grade levels behind, they're able to do that as well. So CTC gives you the flexibility because you have everything at your fingertips. They also have a section with weekly revision tasks where you can go in and you can get a weekly review that allows you to take the questions and um, answer them. So we're just gonna randomly click and it's gonna tell you what's wrong um, and what's right. And so you can also print out a PDF worksheet of this and download it, which is what we tended to do, which is why you don't see a score in there. So you've got worksheet options, you've got online options. So CTC can really do it all and it can allow you to adapt it and make it your own. I'm going to go back to hopefully the parent section. Okay, so when we're looking at CTC, the other thing that we can do is we can look at the profile of our child as well as their results. Um, right now I have Logan um, at a 90% pass grade for the, this particular section and I can go through. It shows that she has logged in 394 times. The last time was 25 minutes ago. Who knew? I didn't know she was doing math today. And I can go to the grade levels that she's completed uh, and see the different scores that she's gotten and get a report and a profile for all of that. I can see her individual results. I can see exams, awards. We can take some speed skill um, tests and try those out. There's lots and lots of things that we can do with our kids through CTC. It allows us to do all of those different things from our parent dashboard. CTC truly is an adaptable program that you can make your own and it's one of the things that I absolutely love about it, especially for families who are homeschooling neurodivergent kids because again, if you've got kids that need extra help, you can take extra time, you can create exams for them to really see what they understand, you can assign specific tasks so they're doing activities more than once. The other thing I love about CTC is right here. You can email them immediately or call them immediately and they will help you out with whatever you need. They're amazing, amazing people who believe in their product and believe that every child should understand math and understand it well and they will help you get there. So CTC Math is great, but I wanted to take the time to show you the inside of it so you could see for yourself because I know when I'm looking at new curriculum, I wanna see the inside of it. Okay, isn't that great? All of those different features. You can create exams, you can pull extra questions, you can print those PDFs of the weekly reviews, you can do all of that stuff. One of the things I love to do as a 
former in the classroom gifted specialist who is homeschooling gifted and choice exceptional children is I love to print off the end of unit exam when my children start a new unit and let them take the exam for the unit they're about to start before they start because I can see what sections of that unit my kids already know. If they're able to master the work on the end of unit exam, I feel as a gifted specialist that it's silly to make them do the work again just because the unit has a section about those assignments. So that's why when you took that peek inside and you looked through my kids' work, you saw some of those gaps where a section wasn't finished, a section was completely skipped over, or they moved on to another grade level without completing the previous grade level and filling in that circle that CTC shows. When you have neurodivergent kiddos, and I know a lot of you who listen to the podcast, who read my website, or who are here on YouTube, have neurodivergent kids. When you have kids who think and learn in an asynchronous way, meaning many levels at once, you need to adapt whatever curriculum you have for the kids you're teaching. And if you've met one gifted or neurodivergent kid, you've met one. And so there's no perfect prescriptive way to teach all gifted kids and all neurodivergent kids. Every one of them is slightly different and CTC allows you the flexibility to meet each of your kids where they are. It's why I have one child several grade levels ahead, one child half of a grade level behind their ages. It's I'm able to tailor the math to exactly where they are when they're there and allow them the space to move forward at a slower pace than they would if they were in a typical educational setting or the ability, I'm able to allow them the ability to move on and jump ahead if they're able to so that they can finish a couple grade levels in a year. CTC is the perfect math curriculum for anybody really because you can tailor it to the kids you have. But I think it's an ideal program for gifted students, for neurodivergent students, for twice exceptional students, for any kiddo that has a learning challenge or a learning gift because they can move at the rate they need to move to keep their brains engaged, excited, and learning something every single day. You're a homeschool mom. You have the freedom and the flexibility to meet your kiddos where they are and help them learn and grow every single day. It's an amazing gift we have as parents who are homeschooling your kids to give them the exact education they need. And CTC Math is the perfect partner to have in your walk to educate your neurodivergent kids. If you have any questions about CTC Math, you can reach out to me at support at raisinglifelonglearners.com, leave a comment in the comment section of this video and I will respond to it. And you can subscribe to this channel by clicking the subscribe button because we'll have more resources and more reviews coming out and so you won't miss a thing. You can also head over to the website raisinglifelonglearners.com and sign up for our newsletter so you don't miss a podcast episode or any of the other resources that come out. Reach out, ask me any questions you have. I'm happy to share. I love CTC Math. It is the program that I use. But more than that, I'm grateful they have an incredible product that I can use with my kids so that I know no matter what direction they go in their future, whether they go into a field where they don't do a whole lot of math or they go into a field that's super math heavy, they will be ready because CTC will have gotten them ready. All right, I'll be back soon with new resources and new reviews to share. Um, again, like, subscribe, and reach out if you have any questions. I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.